Hello YouTube, Falcon2762 here, and in this video what I'm about to talk about is something completely different. Well, not different, it's Beyblade related, but I'm going to talk about the history of Beyblade. Where does the name come from? Beyblade. Where does the game come from? And as you can see, I set everything from what I have here. My Beyblades, my Tornado Battlers right there, Launchers, and Base Stadium. And... If you're, in case you're wondering what that light is over there, there's not a window next to me. It's my laptop. Yes. And that'll be my, uh, that'll be my source of telling you where the name Beyblade comes from. Yes, and besides, those things that are crawling over there on my screen are my Shimejis. Yes. They're fun. Yes, and cute. Down the link below. Go ahead. They're awesome. Try it out. It's awesome. Yes. Um... One thing before I start this video, I couldn't even get my official handbook, which I'll be doing a review on it, like, sooner or later. Um, and also my, uh, also my Metal Masters rulebook to stand in the base stadium because it's refusing to. Wait, let me try it. Yeah, see, it's refusing to. It's slumping down. I know, I know, I know. So let's just leave that aside for now. Yes, and those two codes are not for a giveaway. Sorry. So, um, first let's discuss about where the name of Beyblade comes from. Now, the name Beyblade is actually, um, a brand name for a line of spinning top toys, originally developed and manufactured by Takara Tomy. Yes, we all know that. Um, yeah, you know it comes with the launcher, and then you attach your base, blah blah blah. We all know the game. But I, what I'm talking about is the name of it. Yes, the name. The name was first uh, inspired, well, the toys and the name was first inspired by a guy named Gustavo Morcia, who doesn't sound Japanese at all because this comes from Japan, and that guy is somewhat like Spanish or Mexican. I don't know. Gustavo Morcia, whoever he is, he drew an inspiration from these things called Beigoma. Yes, the name Beyblade actually comes from Beigoma. Yes, and Beigomas are traditional Japanese spinning top toys. Yes, now you know where these kind of things come from. Yes, they're actually traditional Japanese spinning toys. I mean, not these, but but these kinds right over here. Those are Beigomas. Yes, they're kind of weird looking. I know. Um, yes. Well, the history of Beigoma started as, um, they were, uh, they were played so many thousands of years ago in Japan until their popularity went down. And then that's when they started Beyblade. That's when they started this. Yeah, you can see Libra in the shadows, but, um, uh, the origin. Beigoma have, uh, may have come from Japan, from China, originating as Koma. Yes. Koma Village. If you actually see Beyblade Metal uh, uh, Fusion and you actually heard of Koma Village, yes, that's where the name come from. Koma as wooden toys. Well, actually, Beyblade is not wooden toys, but it's actually, yes, metal, not wooden. But you get the idea. Um, popular from... Uh, with ordinary people in the Kamakura period, the toy was well known in the 17th, 17th century Edo period and was originally made by f uh, filling spiral seashells with sand and sealing them with molten wax. By the 20th century, they were made to lead and later cast metal. Yes, that's when the metal thing started. Their popularity peaked in the first half of the 20th century, losing favor as newer post-war toys became available. Recently, the popular Beyblade toy, and Percy is uh, climbing the uh, side of my screen, um... Recently, the popular Beyblade toy, which was modeled after the Beigoma, has caused a resurge in interest. Beyblades are similar to Beigoma, but have no stem. And in the making, they stopped making these things, but there's only one maker that, that's uh, still making them in, uh, in Kawaguchi, in Japan. But, yes, these things were a comeback from Beigomas, and uh, today, as now we know as Beyblades. Now... If you're wondering where the game comes from, well, most of the people thought that Beyblade comes from Japan. It is from Japan, 
But I am pointing out that the name comes from Japan. The game does not come from Japan. Yes, if you guys are thinking about this, you are entirely wrong. It is not from Japan. I will tell you where it comes from. Where is its origin? It actually comes from uh, a game called Battling Tops, which I've never heard of. I've never played it before, but it's really cool. Um, okay, Battling Tops is a children's game first manufactured by Ideal in 1968. Beyblade started in 2001, so that means this game was first created in 1968. In 1977, it was renamed Battling Battling Spaceships in response to Star Wars, blah, blah, blah. Um, the game was out of production. Then in recent years, Maddle was re-released uh, in Battling Tops. The game has similarities to a uh, traditional Malay sport, whatever. And you actually know the gameplay. The gameplay is super similar to Beyblade. You launch your tops, two, two tops fight against each other. Last, last player winning, yeah, wins the game, yes. And there were also characters to it. Yes, Sora fell. Um, yeah, there's kind of silly American names. I wouldn't know any of these. Hurricane Hank Green, Tricky Nicky, Dizzy Dan, Twirling Tim, Smarty Smitty, Super Sam. I actually never heard of these things, sorry. Because I wasn't born at that time. In 1968. Yeah. <laughs> but you get the idea. Yes, that's Battling Tops right there. That's the arena. I know. Launchers, Tops. It's very much similar to the modern Battling Tops game. Yes, Beyblade. So, now you know where the game comes from. It doesn't actually come from Japan. It is America. You guys are entirely wrong. And that is my opinion because I just now found out in Wikipedia. It Yes, there's The Witness. You can go check it out yourself. And, um... Now, second to Beyblade, that's really first popular and famous is this. Wait, guys. You guys have never heard of Battle Strikers before? It is the American version of Beyblade. It has the same metal, um, metal material, but it has three parts. Well, similar to, like, the classic Beyblade, but you wouldn't think of that. Booster, core, lock, yeah. Um, differences between Battle Strikers and Beyblades. Beyblades are non-electronic toys, except if you buy Digital Power Launcher and Bay Pointer, and except also for the Electros and XTS. Yes, those are electronic too. While Battle Strikers are electronic and magnetic, Beyblades are not magnetic at all. Yes. The Beyblades launcher is simple to use. You just put the Beyblade on the prongs of the launcher and pull the handle. Light launchers are different than the Bay launcher. You need to put the ripcord in the hole first, which I have right here. Yes, that's a ripcord launcher, or Bay launcher as you say it. Sorry, guys. Um, and then, uh, you launch it, and then you pull the ripcord. The Battle Strikers launcher are electronic, and when the strikers put the launcher, you need to press the button, tap on the top of the launcher, and control it, not with the launcher, but with the controller, a DLX controller, yes. Um, so, and if you're wondering what Battle Strikers really is, this is their official website. I made a video once out about the online game, it's much different from Beyblade, yes. And there are three teams, Team Phantom, Predator, and Palandin. Um, very different from Beyblade. Like, they have uh, six or seven teams originating from which country they're from. Like, Ganagan Galaxy, Japan, um, Team Wildfang, Africa. Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. Now, these don't have kind of origins from the worlds. Maybe they come from different worlds. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, they have a video onto it. I'm not going to play it. Sorry, find out yourself. Yeah, but that is Battle Strikers. So, now you actually know where Beyblade comes from. The name comes from Japan. The game comes from America. If you want to go against my opinion, that's fine. But this is what I believe. Beyblade comes from America. Uh, no, no. Beyblade comes from Japan. The game. Two tops fighting against each other. That comes from America. So, so thank you guys for watching. Oh, and I have this uh, Beyblade Wii Force sticker that I got it from this website. Sorry, guys. Uh, here, I'll show it to you. Got it from this website, Lysitia. Yes, try it out. It's free. You get free stuff. And that's where I got this sticker from, from that website right there. Yes, Lysitia. Um, I got this... From this webs that website, yeah, 
It's a Beyblade V Force uh, sticker for the GameCube Game Boy Advance. Um, yes, let it rip. Shows Tyson launching his Dragoon. Um, Beyblade V Force logo. Uh, GameCube Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it's a sticker. Yeah, never used. Yeah, I just like to keep it. It's not a giveaway, too. I'm not giving it away to people. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's, um, that's the history of Beyblade. Please like, comment, subscribe, do anything you like. Um, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, Olympian Bladers. Um, I will do, uh, an official handbook overview of this, because I own it. Yes, because I own it. Well, actually, it's from the library. You can see the tab right there, but whatever. Uh -huh. So, thank you guys for watching my video. Bye.